Assalam o Alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Fun by Zarasat. Today we'll extend the topic that we have already studied, uh, Kirchhoff current law. So using Kirchhoff current law, you can find node voltages, and similarly using Kirchhoff voltage law, you'll find current inside the loop. So this is called as mesh analysis also, and this is called as nodal analysis. So I've already mentioned, but I'll write it down over here so that you can remember. If we find, if we want to find the loop current, we usually use KVL. And if you want to find node voltages, okay, we use KCL. You can use uh, while finding loop current. You can also apply KCL, but uh, it depends. Okay. So we'll start with the first problem. This I all this I've already solved. In today's lecture, there's an important topic which is called a super node. But before going to super node, I want you to quickly revise what you've already studied in nodal analysis of KCL. So suppose I consider this node to be as V1, V2, and V3, and I need to find this voltage at V1, V2, and V3. So whichever node you consider, you consider it to be at higher potential. Okay, and assume the current is moving away from the junction. All the current. Okay. Suppose this is coming to the the current given, you don't change the direction. But if it the direction of the current is not uh, given, you have to assume it to be uh, away from the junction or the node. So let's start KVL, uh, sorry KCL at node V1. So if I apply, I'm applying, I'm applying KCL at node V1. So when I apply KCL at node V1, what happens is when you apply KCL at node V1, see this is at higher potential. The other one will be at lower potential. So I'll write down all the equation related to uh, node V1. So the first equation that I'll be writing down is, see this is the first part that I'm going. That is of two ohm. So I'll write V1 minus V2 upon two. This is the first part. Okay. Now the second part is over here. That is, you are moving from V1 to V3. Okay, you are moving from V1 to V3. So you again write V1 minus V3 upon 10. You know the basic fundamental I is equal to V by R. That is Ohm's law, and this is we are using O. Yeah. Okay. Now the next part is we have covered this part of V1, this part. Now this part is remaining. So this is nothing but grounded, right? So I'll write V1 minus zero upon two. So I'll write V1 minus zero upon two is equal to. There is one incoming current, right? So what does KCL say? Uh, incoming current is equal to outgoing current, or the current at the junction or a node is equal to zero. So I'll write V1 minus two, uh, V1 minus zero upon two. After that, this is the incoming current, right? This all are outgoing current, and this is the incoming current. I'll write 28. So this is the first equation. If you simplify it further, that means you take LCM of it, and if you solve it, you will get first equation as 11 v1 minus 5 v2 minus v3 is equal to 280. That means if you take 5, if you multiply 5 over here for simplification, if you multiply 5 over here and 5 over here. I mean, in this loop, you'll get it, okay? And then you simplify, you get this equation. So this is my equation number one. I'll write down equation number one. Now let's move to next node, okay? So this is the next node I'm talking about, which is V2. So I'll apply KCL at V2, and let's see what happens. If I apply, apply KCL at node. V2. And if I apply KCL and node V2, now you have to consider V2 as at higher potential. Now V2 is at higher potential. Now I'll move. If I have three direction, right? One is V1, one is V2, and another is V0. First I'll cover V V1. So I'll write V2 minus V1 now because now you are considering V2 at higher potential. Here you are considering V1 at higher potential, so you have written V1 minus V2. While writing V1. You have written V1 minus V2. While writing now V2, you will write V2 minus V1. 
upon what is the resistance over here? Two upon two plus V two minus V three upon one. See now you have moved toward this direction. Okay, this direction. V two minus V three upon one. Now the last is and very simple. V two minus zero upon five. V two minus zero upon five is equal to zero. Now if you simplify this, okay, the term, the equation turns out to be minus five V one plus seventeen V two minus ten V three is equal to zero. So this is the second equation. That is, this is I'll, I'll write it down as second equation. Okay. Now let's complete the third equation. And when you are done with the third equation, you have done with the whole sum actually. So if I apply KCL at node three, applying KCL at node three, okay, or I'll write V three. It will be looking different, right? So see V three. Now you are at V three. And you know the process. You have to move away from the junction. So first, you'll write V3 minus V1 upon 10 plus V3 minus V2 upon 1 plus V3 minus. Okay, I'll write it in a smaller way so that everything got set up over here. Okay, don't worry. Write it. As fast as possible. V3 minus V1 upon V3 minus V1 upon 10. See, this is the resistance 10. Now the next is V3 minus V2 upon 1 plus V3 minus 0 upon 4. See, this current is outgoing current, right? And all current are outgoing current now because this is also outgoing. So I'll write plus Two equal to zero. Okay, if you want, you can write plus two over here and write minus two, but it's okay. All coming, all current are incoming, outgoing current. See, see, we have considered here incoming. That's why I have written over here because, but because this was incoming current at this node. But now this current is outgoing. Already it is mentioned as outgoing, so you have to write it over here because you are we are writing incoming is equal to outgoing. So I have written this all outgoing current. And since we don't have any incoming current, I have written equal to zero. Now, if you arrange this equation and simplify it, you will get as minus two v one. Okay, minus twenty v two plus twenty seven v three is equal to minus forty. If you move this two from here, I mean from left hand side. To right hand side, it becomes minus two, and if you take LCM, it turns out to be twenty LCM, and twenty multiplied by two will get minus forty. So this is my equation number three. If you solve this all the equation in the calculator, or you can solve it simultaneously using Cramer's rule. You can also use Cramer's rule over here. Hope you know what is Cramer's rule. You need to apply determinant, okay? So which is very simple again. So you'll get all the three values of v1, v2, and v3. I'll write down the values for you. We'll get V1 as V1 as 36 volt, V2 as 20 volt, and finally V3 as 16 volt. Now there is it depends on examiner. He can ask you, can you tell me the uh, voltage across one ohm? So you can write V2 minus V3 or V3 minus V2 depend on uh, the positive and the negativity. Okay, so it's very simple. This was KCL which we already discussed. Now we'll move to a special case of KCL or nodal analysis. Where there is a voltage between two sources. See, this is super node problem. Okay, now this is super node problem that you need to understand properly. So, what is super node? Super node is a, uh, there is a voltage source. There is a voltage source between two nodes. I'll show you how. So, this is my V1. Okay, and now this is my V2. And I have a voltage source in between of six volts. Okay, this is the voltage source I have of six volts between two voltage sources. So this type of special case are known as super node, and it is very simple again. 
um, you can easily solve if you know the fundamentals what i have already told you okay so let's start with it it's a, it's a very small topic actually but sometime it uh, create trouble to the student applying so just a second we shift it upward so that we can look at properly okay applying kcl at node 1 or b1 b1 okay now see when i apply kcl at node v1 now you need to understand it properly okay see there are how many path total connected to v1 so if you look uh, this is the one path where current is incoming the another path if the current is not mentioned we will consider it outgoing this is also outgoing and this is also outgoing current now if you apply kcl see what happens we'll write first which is simple to write right first is v1 If I write like this, V1 minus V2 upon one. So I'll write V1 minus V2 upon one. This is very simple. Okay, you have considered this part. Now, if I have considered this part, okay, this is again very simple. You know, this is grounded. So I'll write V1 minus zero upon one. V1 minus zero upon one. This is again very simple. Now, now the interesting part is how to apply. KCL at this this I mean uh, this branch. Okay, so to apply KCL in this branch, it is very simple concept. See, this is higher potential and this is also higher potential. And you are aware about if there is an higher potential connected to higher potential, we subtract right. We subtract the voltages. And if there is a lower potential connected to higher potential, we add the voltages. Right. Now see, this is the higher potential. This is higher potential connected to it, so we'll subtract directly. I'll write. So this step is a crucial step. The student generally makes mistakes. So I'll write it a different color. V1 minus six. I hope you understand why I've written minus six because this is higher potential over here. Now you consider V2 as lower potential, so I'll write minus V2. Okay, upon two is equal to that is incoming current over here. We should not forget this incoming current. We'll write equal to three. Now it is very easy to simplify it. We can take common uh, two as your LCM. You multiply this with two, and this with two. So you'll get very simple equation: five v one minus three v two is equal to twelve. Okay. So I'll write it down. This equation as equation number one. Okay. I'll move to the another equation. I'll apply KCL on the next node. Applying KCL at node V two. Now applying KCL at node V two. There are total how many part? You can see how many branches? One, two, and three. First, we'll write simple branches. That is this one and this one. But there is no 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 other voltage, right? So I'll write V2 minus V1 upon one, since this is the branch which is going towards one, plus V2 minus zero upon four. Okay, this is the another branch. Now the crucial part of this equation, or the most important part, is writing this branch. So while I am writing this branch, remember now this is at higher potential and this is lower potential. If higher potential is connected to lower potential, you need to add. So I'll write. It is very simple now. Okay, I'll write as I'll use different color. Let's take blue. So I'll write V two plus six. Okay, why I've written plus six because this is lower potential, this is higher potential. And now if I move towards V one, you have to end the point, right? So I'll again write minus V one upon two. Is equal to now. See, this current is again incoming current, right? The incoming current you have to write it over here. If you take the LCM, it turns out to be eight. So the equation turns out to be if you simplify it, you'll get minus six V one plus seven V two is equal to minus four. So this is equation number second. And if you simplify the equation one and two, okay. The final answer that turns out to be this is very simply, uh, I mean to say, very simple calculation, and anyone can do this. Then too, let's see if you don't know, 
you can use calculator if you don't know you know the basic simultaneous equation that you have solved in your uh, basic ssc or its uh, basic standards so if you solve this you'll get value of v1 as 4.23 volt and v2 as 3.05 volt okay so this is the kcl uh, there are two type of problem i have solved this i have already solved this the video of this have already been uploaded of two nodes now this is of three nodes i have solved three node over there also now this is another video of three node as well as super node so this is interesting right now super node is very interesting just make sure what you do with this voltage source okay what you do with this voltage source so while considering from higher potential you need to subtract and while considering from lower potential you need to add so this is the basic fundamental hope you have liked the video mm, this was in small efforts for you because i was getting many requests for this video of super node and super mesh i have done my job thank you guys uh, hope you have enjoyed this please like the video share it with your friend and do subscribe my channel thanks a lot have a good day